Michael Weber, Artistic Director of Chicago's Porchlight Music Theater. Casbah, the musical adaptation of the 1938 film classic Algiers, opened in movie theaters in April of 1948. First seen as the French film Pepe le Moco in 1937, that successful adaptation was based on the popular book by Henry Le Barth. The musical film version boasted a score by Harold Arlen and Leo Robin, and featured actors Yvonne De Carlo, Peter Lorre, and Eartha Kitt in her film debut, with Marta Torin starring as Gabby and Tony Martin as Pepe Lamoco, the roles famously undertaken by Hedy Lamar and Charles Boyer in Algiers. The story of a gang leader of jewel thieves in the Kasbah district of Algiers, who has exiled himself to escape imprisonment in his native France, the narrative gave inspiration for the films The Third Man, as well as Casablanca, which itself was written specifically with Hedy Lamar in mind for the female lead after her performance in Algiers. Actor Charles Boyer's performance as Pepe Lamoco made an indelible impression on all future interpretations of the character, but the invitation to come with me to the Casbah did not actually appear in the film, even as it became impressionists like Rich Little and Frank Gorshin's standard imitation of Boyer, much like Play It Again, Sam, for Humphrey Bogart, Judy, 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 for Cary Grant, and You Dirty Rat, for James Cagney, which were all apocryphal movie quotes. In some part, the lampoon of Boyer mainly spread owing to its use by the Looney Tunes cartoon character skunk Pepe Le Pew, himself a spoof of Boyer as Pepe Le Moco. The musical film Casbah was made by Marsden Productions, star Tony Martin's own production company, who signed a deal with Universal International Studios. Martin, whose real name was Alvin Morris, had a career spanning over seven decades in recording, radio, and films, and he scored dozens of hits between the late 1930s through the mid-1950s with songs such as Walk Hand in Hand, Stranger in Paradise, and I Get Ideas. He had a broad film career, including appearances in Follow the Fleet with Astaire and Rogers in 1936, to The Big Store with the Marx Brothers in 1941, to Dear Mr. Wonderful with Joe Pesci in 1982. He was married to actress and dancer Sid Charisse for 60 years until her death in 2008. Here on the July 22, 1949 episode of Screen Director's Playhouse are Tony Martin as Pepe Lamoco and Marta Torin as Gabby recreating their roles from the 1948 film with Herbert Butterfield and Lorene Toddle in Casbah. Oh, waiter. Yes, sir? I'll have some uh, sliced Virginia ham, deviled eggs, and a green salad, I think, with French dressing. And a bottle of cold Pabst Blue Ribbon. Yes, sir. Finest beer, sir. Anywhere. From Hollywood, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Finest beer served. Anywhere. Proudly presents... Screen Director's Playhouse... Production, Casbah. Director, John Barry. Stars, Tony Martin, Marta Torrin. The Hollywood Screen Directors present a romance on the edge of danger. The musical adventure, Casbah. Starring Tony Martin and Marta Torrin, and introduced by the director of the film, Mr. John Barry. Tonight, our guest screen director is a young man who entered show business at the age of four and spent the next 25 years making up for lost time. He did it by blazing his way to Hollywood as a stage actor and director. 
to create such entertaining films as Miss Susie Slagle's From This Day Forward and tonight's story, Casbah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Barry. Thank you. When we made Casbah, we hoped it would be a film that was a little different. A kind of realistic light opera. A modern tale from the Arabian Nights set to music. But most of all, we hoped it would entertain you. Now that wish remains as we present Casbah on the air. Starring Tony Martin and Marta Torin in their original roles of Pepe Lamoco and Gabby Treno. Casbah. You say to me, Inspector Slimane, why do you look so sad? You are a fine police officer. Tonight, the authorities of Algiers celebrate your victory. Well, let them celebrate. For me, the game is over. Let me tell you, some may choose to regard Pepe Limoco as only a thief, but he was a magnificent thief and such a romantic man, a singer of songs, a lover of women, a man of great qualities, a man to be loved and to be hated. Certainly he was hated by the police of the world, but here, here in the Caspar, he was safe. A king guarded by the 50,000 souls of the native quarter. You're in fine voice today, Pippi. Uh, it's a fine world, Slomane, even for a policeman. So you stand on your balcony and sing. Look around you, Pippi. Look down into the casbah. It locks you up like a prison. I have everything I want. Friends, a woman, money. What else do I need? Who knows? A change of scenery, perhaps. Paris? <laughs> and a jail cell? Don't laugh, Pepe. Someday you'll leave the casbah. I'll see to that. And when you do, Pepe, the police will be waiting. I'll be waiting. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, Slimane. Let me go! I have to see Pepe! My son, stay here! He's prison! You murdering monkey! Inez, Moro, what's going on there? You sangre here, Moro! He wouldn't let me see you! Inez, you have to be patient with Moro. He protects me. Do you need protection from me, Pepe? Inez, my sweet, my love, my blossom. No, 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 Pepe, wait, no. Just one kiss. No, no. <sighs> now, talk. Oh, Pepe. Almighty the guide brings two tourists tonight to the Casbah, to that nightclub. A man and a woman. A beautiful woman? You. The man is very wealthy. And the woman, she has many diamonds. Oh, Inez. Diamonds are such a responsibility. Perhaps we should uh, relieve her of the responsibility. Hmm? <laughs> tonight at Odette's. <laughs> Don't you think we've had quite enough of Odette's Gabby? It's growing late. Whatever you wish, Claude. I hope you're not leaving. I I beg your pardon. It'll be dangerous, madame, to go through the Casbah this late, wearing such diamonds. Not madame, monsieur. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle Trenot. And your uh, friend? Monsieur Durand, my fiance. Charmed. Are there. Thieves in the Casbah, Monsieur. Uh, Pepe, Pepe Limoco. Yes, there are thieves who steal uh, many things. Claude, how exciting! Would your fiance mind if I asked you to dance? No, no. See here. You must be polite, Claude. Uh, but, uh, but, Gabby, I, I. Uh... The jewels you're wearing, you know, they're completely wasted on a person like you. Indeed. When a woman's beauty outdazzles her diamonds, they're useless. Very gallant, Monsieur de Moco. But I prefer to keep them, nevertheless. Ah, the lady knows me. Pepe de Moco, stealer of jewels, stealer of hearts. <laughs> I might steal yours. 
My jewels? Your heart. A woman's heart is not for any man, monsieur. Even in the Casbah. Even in the Casbah, mademoiselle. For every man, there's a woman. For every man, there's a woman. For every life, there's a plan. Wise men know it was ever so since the world began that a woman was made for man. Where is she? Where is the woman for me? For every prince, there's a princess. For every Joe, there's a Joe. And if you wait, you will meet the maid born for you alone. Happy to be your own. Where is she? Where is the woman for me? Find the one, find the one. Then together you will find the sun. For every heart there's a moment. For every hand a God. And for every woman a man to love. Where is she? Where is the one for me? We uh, we seem to have danced onto the terrace. We'd we'd better go back. Do you really want to go? I, I... Please, please don't. Gabby. Here. Wouldn't you rather take my bracelet? It's very expensive. It isn't expensive enough. Well, I... Good night. Gabby. Yes? Next time we meet, I'll take that kiss. Or a more expensive bracelet. Hello, baby. It's Lumaid. Baby, I'm surprised at you. Why didn't you take the lady's bracelet? Inspector, I've taken so many bracelets. This time, I think I'd rather take the kiss. (laughs) Good night, Slumaid. They say that fortune is a woman. For me, that woman was Gabby Treno. For such a woman, Pepe Lamoco might leave the Caspar. But fortune alone cannot be trusted. Even one's best friend cannot be trusted. And for many months in the Algiers prison, I had been holding an old friend of Pepe's named Carlo Ferron. The treacherous dog wished to purchase his freedom. And so we made an agreement. Oh, Carlo, it's it's wonderful to see you again. You're a hard man to reach, Pepe. <laughs> they certainly protect you around here. Uh, you mustn't mind Morrow. He doesn't trust anybody. This rat has to big him out, Pepe. He's my friend. He says he broke out of jail. I don't believe it. It's not so easy, Pepe. I said he's my friend. You see, Carlo, it's not much like the old days, is it? Ah, those days in Paris. Paris. Ha, <laughs> ha, you and I, Carlo, the thieves of the Montmartre. We could do it again, Pepe. Leave the Cosma? Why not? No, Pepe, no. Shut up. Paris, Pepe. The ah, Champs Elysees, yes. the Bois de Boulogne, the Tour d'Argent. Ah, once everything I wanted was here in the Cosma. It's not for you, Pepe. This place. Last night it closed in, like, uh, like a prison. Don't listen to him, Pepe. Pepe, there must be so many things you want outside the Casbah. I've got to get out of here, Carlo. Ah, when can we leave? Tonight. Tonight, Carlo, the festival of the Ramadan begins. There'll be many tourists. We can slip through the gate. Pepe, the police, I'll get you. Tonight, tonight, Pepe. It's that woman at Odette's last night. You're leaving for her. I've got to get out, Inez. I'm fed up. All right, run to your woman. See how far you'll get. You know when you leave the guard, but Pepe. <laughs> when they carry you out, that's when you leave. <laughs> There's the gate, Pepe. A little further, and you'll be free of the Casbah. Paris. 
Paris. The Riviera. Ah, you're a good friend, Carlo. <laughs> Am I, Pepe? Pepe! Pepe! Inez! Pepe, don't go. Inez, please. It might be a trap. Come on, Pepe. Oh, Pepe. You don't have to leave the castle. What? Your lady friend. She's come back. Here? In the castle. Thank you, Inez. Come on, Carlo. But, Pepe... Ah, oh, it's a wonderful night, Carlo. Too beautiful a night to disappoint a lady. <laughs> love, love, hooray for love. You are listening to Screen Directors Playhouse production of Caspa, starring Tony Martin and Marta Torin, and introduced by the director of the film, Mr. John Barry. You are in Forest Hills. The tennis match is over. You, swimming in perspiration and stiff necked from following the ball, flow through the stadium gates with a crowd. Ah, it's a great game, tennis. But right now, all you can think about is a tall, cool former of... Oh, wait a minute. What's that little blue sign in the cafe window? Oh, brother. Pabst Blue Ribbon. Finest beers served. Anywhere. Yes, during these hot July days, you're just one of millions of men all over America to whom that Pabst Blue Ribbon sign means welcome relief. For Pabst Blue Ribbon does something more than quench your thirst. It gives you taste. Blue Ribbon Taste, the kind of taste you can't get anywhere else in the world except in that Pabst Blue Ribbon bottle. And fortunately, you can get that Blue Ribbon bottle all over the world. Yes, you hear it everywhere, in Forest Hills and Fort Worth and Frankfurt and Fredericksburg. Pabst Blue Ribbon, finest beer served anywhere. Your taste will tell you why. Hi, this is Porchlight Education Director Rebecca Singer. Thank you for listening to WPMT. If you value programming like this, consider making a donation today at porchlightmusictheater.org. We appreciate your consideration and hope you enjoy the show. Now, back to our screen director's playhouse story, Casbah, starring Tony Martin and Marta Torrin. Let me tell you, only a fool trusts to fortune, and I was a very foolish policeman. When Gabby Trano and her fiancé returned to the Casbah that night, the bait was stolen from my trap. But why should Pepe Lemoka leave the Casbah? And the one thing he wanted was now within its walls. Gabby. Pepe. Gabby, you've come back. I came back for the festival. Is that all? Tomorrow we sail. We, we didn't want to miss it. Then see it, Gabby. See no, it with Pepe. me. We'll see it together, Gabby. But, but Claude, he's waiting. Forget Claude. Walk with me, Gabby. Up these steps to my balcony. Pepe, I shouldn't have come back. You had to. Here in the Casbah, Gabby, you must believe in fate. Fate? What is that? It was written in the stars, what was written in the stars shall be. It was written in the skies that the heart and not the eyes shall see. And so, whether it bring joy, whether it bring woe, it shall be done. It was 
was written high above that I have to have your love or I'll never be free and cloudy though the day be crazy though I may be what the stars foretold Shall be and so shall it be. Look, Peppy, it's getting light. Why doesn't it stay dark? I'll make it dark, light, anything you want, Gabby. <laughs> Suppose I want rainbows. I'll make you want to wear in your hair. But rainbows disappear. Ours won't. Ours just did, Peppy. Listen, I must go back now. They sail without me. Wonderful. No, Peppy. You don't really want me. You're what I want, Gabby. Stay. Here? Here? In the castle? I'll get out of here any day now. Please. We'll, we'll go to Paris. Please. Don't make it difficult for me. Then go if that's what you want. Goodbye, Peppy. I... Oh, no. It's not what I want. Gabby, Gabby. I didn't think I would ever feel this way. You can go, Gabby. But I'll follow you. No. The police. Then stay. I'll come back. When? Tonight. You promise? Yes. Yes, I promise. Tonight, at Odette's. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. That day the ship sailed without Gabby Trenot. Such is love. She registered at the Hotel Oasis in Algiers. That night she would return to Pepe in the Casbah. And then, what of Inspector Slimane? What of my trap? A simple policeman must do what he can. So I went to see Gabby Trenor, to break her heart and catch a thief. Mademoiselle Trenor, I beg you, do not return to the Casbah. But Inspector... There's still time. Go back to Paris. A plane leaves in the morning. Inspector, I've made up my mind. I'm sorry. Then I must tell you. Forgive me. Tell me what? It's Pepe. A uh, regrettable incident. Pepe? Has something happened to him? A half hour ago, mademoiselle, Pepe was stabbed with Inez, the girl in the Caspar. He's dead. Oh, no. Now, mademoiselle, I shall make your reservations for the plane to Paris. Peppy, you seem very happy this afternoon. Ah, uh, Slimane, I almost went to Paris yesterday. Wouldn't you have liked that? Why didn't you? Paris came to me. Oh, but Peppy, you'll want to see her again? I'm going to. Tonight, it's all arranged. <laughs> I know, Peppy, it's all arranged. That's what amuses me. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I made a trap, Peppy, and you're walking right into it. Carlo, it's after ten. Why hasn't she come? Oh, you know women, Pepe. Always late. I'm worried. I, I can't figure it out. Carlo, I want you to go outside and find out what you can. All right, Pepe. Leave it to me. And hurry, Carlo. Pepe, where is he going? Leave him alone, Morrow. He's my friend. I don't believe it. Then follow him. Watch him. I don't care what you do. I will, Pepe. And tell Odette I'll be in the back room if Mademoiselle Trenot arrives. Pepe, 
I found her. Carlo, where? She's at the Hotel Oasis. Why hasn't she come here? I don't know, Pepe. Don't believe him, Pepe. He's lying. It's a trick. Let's go, Carlo. Just a moment, Pepe. I'm leaving, Moro. I followed your friend. Ask him how he knows all this. Carlo. Well, he... Carlo. How do you know? Well, uh, Pepe, I... He went to Slimane. That's how he knows. No, no, Pepe. It isn't true. It's true, Pepe. <laughs> Carlo. My friend. Moro. Wait, Pepe. I'll tell you. Slimane. Slimane planned it. Yes, he, he said he'd get me out of prison if I helped him. I, I didn't want to, Pepe. The truth, Carlo, the truth. <laughs> the hotel is around it. They're, they're waiting for you. She didn't leave on the ship. Slimane told her you were killed. That's why she didn't come, Pepe. Slimane told her I was dead? <laughs> She's leaving for Paris on the morning plane. Six o'clock, Pepe. Thank you, Carlo. Pepe, don't kill me. Uh, I'm your friend. Your friend, Pepe. Inez. Come on. Moro? I'll stay <laughs> with your friend. <laughs> no! No, Pepe! Don't leave me with him! Please, Pepe, I beg you, please! 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 Pepe, I'm warning you. Don't leave me for that woman. This time I'm going, Inez, for good. Listen to me, Pepe. Inez, please, this isn't the first time a thing like this has happened. No, but I'll tell you this. For you, it will be the last. Mademoiselle Inez, you shouldn't have come to the Hotel Oasis. Now I'm afraid we can't let you leave again. I came to see you, Slimane. It's Pepe. He won't be coming here. He knows you're waiting. He's going to the airport to meet her. Paris, flight four, now boarding and ready for takeoff. Here, here, let me through. Gabby! Let me through. Have your ticket, please. Ticket, Have I don't ticket. know. No, I... Gabby! Gabby! It's too late, Pepe. Gabby! She's already aboard the plane. Slamane. You left the Caspar, Pepe. Just as I said you would. But the plane, it's ready for takeoff. Just let me say goodbye. No, Pepe. Gabby! Gabby! Wait! Pepe! Pepe! Stop! Gabby! Pepe! I warn you! Pepe! Pepe. I'm sorry. I, I guess you win, Slimane. Was it worth it? This game of mine. Sure. Sure it was. You got Pepe Lomoko. You're a great man. A great man. And Gabby, she'll forget, won't she, Slimane? I don't know, Pepe. She, she'll be in... Paris soon. Paris, Slimane. Oh, yes, baby. I... I think I'm glad I left the Caspar. Now I can... I can see... Paris. Goodbye, Pepe. Goodbye, my friend. You have just heard the last act of Caspar. In just a moment, tonight's stars, Tony Martin and Martha Torn, and screen director John Barry, will return to the microphone. Most people think of Hollywood as Glamour Town, USA. Well, I suppose that's true, if you believe all the publicity stories you read about it. But when you live out here, as I do, you begin to realize that most of the movie stars lead normal lives, just like you and me. When they entertain, the chances are they'll serve a simple buffet supper, consisting of, well, perhaps some cold cuts, a simple salad, and cold bottles of Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Everything in perfect taste. 
blue ribbon taste. But it's that blue ribbon taste that makes this internationally famous beer so popular here in Hollywood. For instance, I happen to know that Pabst Blue Ribbon is served in the home of Pepe Lamoco, who is standing right here beside me. Pepe Lamoco, of course, is none other than Tony Martin. Tony, it's true, isn't it, that you serve Pabst Blue Ribbon in your home? Pabst Blue Ribbon it is, Jimmy. Well, Marta, how would you like playing Gabby Trudeau in the air? Fine, Tony. And I think this is a good time for both of us to thank John Barry for a grand job of direction on the film. That's right, John. We, we learned an awful lot from you, and we had a swell time making the picture with you, too. Thank you, Tony. I had a swell time doing it with both of you, and I'm very glad that both you and Martha could appear on the show today. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good John. Night. Good night, Martha. And good night to you, Tony Martin, Marta Torn, and John Barry. Don't forget, tomorrow is the beginning of another weekend. Two whole days to relax and have fun. You'll be planning picnics and backyard barbecues. Just be sure there's plenty of Pabst Blue Ribbon cooling in your icebox. Tomorrow morning, ask your dealer for a case. In cans or bottles, Pabst Blue Ribbon is the finest beer served anywhere. Your taste will tell you why. Next week on Screen Directors Playhouse, Pabst Blue Ribbon presents a story of adventure in the Orient, Saigon, starring Alan Ladd. Tonight's play, Kasbah, is a Marston production released by Universal International Studios, whose current picture is Once More, My Darling, starring Robert Montgomery and Anne Blythe. Tony Martin is soon to appear in a musical based on the lives of the vaudeville team of Van and Skink. Marta Torrin will soon be seen with Dana Andrews in Sword in the Desert a Universal International picture. John Barry's latest film is the Metro-Golden-Mayer production, Tension, starring Audrey Totter, Richard Basehart, and Barry Sullivan. Included in tonight's cast were Herbert Butterfield, Doreen Tuttle, Ed Max, Ted Von Elst, Donald Morrison, and Dan Riss. Pazbar was adapted for radio by Richard Allen Simmons, and original music was composed and conducted by Henry Russell. Screen Director's Playhouse was produced by Howard Wiley, with dramatic direction by Bill Karn. Listen again next week when Pabst Blue Ribbon presents... Screen Director's Playhouse, Production, Saigon, Director, Leslie Fenton, Star, Alan Ladd. Screen Director's Playhouse is brought to you by the Pabst Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Newark, New Jersey, and Peoria, Illinois, and sent your way with the best wishes of the Pabst Blue Ribbon dealers from coast to coast. James Wallington speaking. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. Kasbah was more than just another movie for actor Tony Martin. He was determined to reestablish himself in the film community after having been blacklisted in the entertainment industry since being discharged from the Navy for, quote, unfitness, unquote, in 1942. You see, Martin joined the United States Navy in 1942 as a chief specialist, the equivalent of a chief petty officer. He was dismissed from the service that year for unfitness after he testified at the court-martial of a Navy procurement officer that he enlisted as a specialist only after the officer twice failed to obtain a commission for him. Martin admitted that he had given the officer a car worth $950 to facilitate his enlistment. At the time of his dismissal, the Navy said that removal for unfitness was not equivalent to a dishonorable discharge and does not carry degradation. Nevertheless, the mark on his record hampered his ability to get work when he returned to Hollywood. Marta Torin, a Swedish stage and film actress, made her American film debut with Kasbah. She would appear opposite Humphrey Bogart, Dana Andrews, and Claude Rains, among others, in her brief film career. Composer Harold Arland is best remembered for his music in MGM's The Wizard of Oz, but his extensive Broadway career extended from Earl Carroll's Vanities of 1930 to the musical adaptation of Edna Ferber's sprawling novel Saratoga Trunk in 1959 entitled Saratoga. 
Casbah's lyricist, Leo Robin, had his first really big hit on Broadway with the 1927 smash Hit the Deck, but he is best remembered for his work on the 1949 musical smash Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Every one of the film's songs became a big hit and were staples of Tony Martin's nightclub act for years. It was written in the stars, was identified by Ella Fitzgerald as her favorite Harold Arlen tune, and one that she insisted on including in her Harold Arlen songbook album. Theaters across the country need your support now, more than ever. We hope you'll consider a donation to Porchlight Music Theater today. Just go to porchlightmusictheater.org. Until next time on Classic Musicals from the Golden Age of Radio, I'm Michael Weber.